Okay, so just to finish up that uh, previous video, I would have a 15 minute time limit and I was running short on time and I finished up very quickly, but just wanted to comment that what we went through in this example and did is we didn't exactly, uh, I wouldn't call these formal proofs, but we were able to at least justify somehow whether or not uh, the relation was reflexive, symmetric, anti-symmetric, transitive. I mean, you know, maybe you don't necessarily have to do uh, a, a formal proof like this. I mean, this is this is fairly formal, but some justification or some explanation as to why the relation is or is not reflexive, symmetric, anti-symmetric, uh, or transitive is um, is a good exercise. So, so anyway, I just didn't have a very good chance to. Uh, summarize my comments in that last video. So uh, hopefully this example helps you to understand the different uh, properties of relations.